hello friends welcome to the video lecture series on a machine learning so in this tutorial we are going to apply this k-means clustering algorithm the built-in functionality of scikit-learn library on a iris data set so let's start i have done some necessary imports and i have imported uh, pandas library and matplotlib for visualization purpose i even kept this set option display max rows is equal to 200 so it will display almost all data for the our visualization purpose after that i written some small script to load this iris data set this how to load this iris or, or whatever the built-in data set available in the scikit learn library we have already seen in earlier lecture so i have written that whole script and i have imported this whole data into x variable and that whole x variable i have assigned it to the pandas data frame object so let's just execute it and let's just uh, display it the iris data set okay uh, i haven't executed the import statement okay so uh, we have this uh, iris data set which is having a total four dimension or four feature values per individual record and the last column i have assigned it to the target where in which cluster this individual record or individual flower family belongs to so if you carefully observe this whole uh, data you can see there are total first 50 records belongs to one class another 50 record belongs to class one or class one is just the naming convention it's in a another cluster and a third 50 records which is lying into another cluster so first 50 record second 50 record and third 50 record belongs to three different individual cluster so this is what data we have this is just the uh, available inside the iris data set that's why i have displayed it in reality in a unsupervised way of learning and for the k-means clustering we are not at all going to use this target column we are just going to supply all feature values directly to the k-means clustering algorithm and we'll tell algorithm to group this data set into three different cluster this is just for the comparison purpose at the last moment i have uh, displayed this target column so let's try to throw this data set to the scikit-learn built-in function available so for that let me just do the some necessary import sklearn dot cluster import k means okay now let's create a very uh, small three three clusters will give as an input k min and number of cluster will provide as a so while creating the object for the or the constructor for the key means class will provide number of cluster is equal to 3 and a max iteration remaining all value let's keep it default so I am keeping max uh, iteration let's make it uh, 1000 by default it will be a, it was around uh, 300 or somewhere around okay so we have successfully created the km reference which is the k means object now let's supply this km to the our input data which is lying in a x variable which is having a dimension 150 rows and total four columns so let's just supply it okay so it has uh, written as the full k means object with a lot of default value and whatever the value we have changed like a number of cluster is equal to 3 and max iteration is 1000 remaining all values is almost same ok now uh, let's try to uh, see what are the uh, clusters are it has calculated ok so we have sub tell to calculate total 3 clusters so this is the plus cluster centroid this is the second cluster centroid and this is the third cluster centroid okay 
but uh, it is difficult to visualize for us so in terms of cluster because it's in a four dimension space so let's uh, try to display the labels okay so before uh, assigning anything to the label we are trying to compare anything with the label we just uh, first see that this number doesn't signify anything this one number whatever the output which km means algorithm in a scikit-learn library has predicted this is just the representation of that particular uh, cluster this one has a no relation with actual target output which is available here because uh, uh, the way the number or this is just a string which is the representation of individual value so if you observe this uh, original data set you can see that there are first 50 record lies in a one group uh, and that one group original in data set it is called as a value zero but uh, whatever the output has come it is telling as a value one so rather than uh, making ourselves confused with this uh, number we should try to understand this in a uh, such a way that the first 50 record lies in a one group so in our k means uh, predicted value also all almost uh, nearly about the 50 records we are getting into one cluster after that uh, it is starting another cluster and then th so these are uh, some of the uh, misclassified value this two this two or might be this two also so whatever the in between 50 values are there that is a, that is a uh, misinterpreted or putting into different cluster as per the this built-in function available in a scikit-learn library whatever the last value are there they are all also in a uh, another cluster only thing is that uh, some of the value uh, some of the data set in a another cluster is that that is a misclassified so uh, let's try to put it into data frame uh, variable so we'll actually calculate it so we'll add uh, one more column to the data frame object like a k min predicted label and we'll assign it to the km dot label and let's just print it okay here we can actually do the comparison so it has displayed all uh, 150 records here the very first uh, 150 record lines into one cluster don't try to get confused with this 0 and 1 actually uh, this zeros all signifies that it is lying into one cluster and our output also signifies that these are all lies into one cluster if any of the value in a one a first 50 records change that means we can try to understand that there is something has changed but uh, we have seen that almost all first 50 records are, in, are assigned a value 1 so they are into one cluster so our first 50 record has been classified into one group or they are forming one group that's absolutely fine and it has given a correct output now let's try to observe the another 50 records like uh, 50th record start from 51th record start from and it has assigned it to one class which is having a name 0 0 and again 2 so this is a kind of wrong thing it has a uh, it has predicted because uh, this cluster should lie into this group or this data should lie into this group which is having a value 0 but it has predicted the value 2 so uh, these are all uh, some of the misclassified uh, or uh, misinterpreted the data set again some uh, 77 uh, sorry it's actually it's a 78 number record because indexing is starting from zero so uh, it has classified or it has put it into another cluster that is uh, somewhat wrong but uh, uh, apart from all almost all record more than uh, almost 95 percent of records are grouped into correct cluster i think our last uh, 50 are almost uh, in a uh, group 2 so group 2 as a this record 0 uh, this 101 record they have grouped into another cluster so that might be a wrong uh, 
this is another record which is wrong actually it has uh, interpreted there are another two records in it has put it into another cluster okay so almost uh, out of 150 records we can see that uh, we can put even a mathematical comparison between this target column and key means predicted column because whatever the key means uh, predicted label it has uh, generated that is just the uh, number further representing one group of cluster so uh, thank you guys for the watching that's it for this lecture friends uh, i hope you enjoy listening this video uh, please do like comment and subscribe it